Aeroloy Technologies, which is a subsidiary of Indian firm PTC Industries, has signed a long-term purchase agreement with French firm Dassault Aviation, for the supply of full range of titanium cast parts for the Rafale aircraft. The DRDO is set to initiate the global tendering process for the purchase of three aircraft for the indigenous ISTAR program, and the contenders are Bombardier Global 6000 jet and the Gulfstream G550 jet. Turkey is in talks with Pakistan to supply its Alka high-energy laser weapon system to Pakistan Air Force. The Adani Group has announced that its Hyderabad facility has already exported 20 Hermes 900 UAVs to various countries, including Israel, Brazil and Philippines. Iran has launched airstrikes at a militant group inside Pakistan territory, while Pakistan's foreign ministry has called it an illegal airstrike and has protested against the unprovoked violation of its airspace. The Gujarat Maritime Board will build two jetties for the Indian Navy, to facilitate pacing of new generation ships being inducted into the Navy. Two South American countries have shown interest in procuring Pinnaka multi-barrel rocket launchers. After its last successful one-minute flight test in 2023, the DRDO is preparing for longer trials of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. DRDO aims to conduct a 400-second test this year, translating to roughly 6.6 .6 minutes of hypersonic flight, which would propel the HSTDV over 800 km, and the successful completion will pave the way for the actual development of hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide weapons. The DRDO is developing two new Pinnaker variants, that includes Pinnaka Mark 3 ER variant with 120 km range and Pinnaka Mark 4 with 200 km range, and both new rockets will be guided. The new extended range rockets will maintain the same 214 mm caliber as the current Pinnaka Mark 2, that will ensure compatibility with existing launchers. As per latest information, both the hull and turret has been designed by DRDO and built by Larson and Tubro, and the design of the 105mm tank gun was done by Kalyani Group, and the tank is being powered by a locally manufactured 750 horsepower Cummins engine. Experts have said that the future of warfare is in long-range vectors and unmanned platforms, and more the standoff range, more will be the deterrence value. India is going to be a global military, and one doesn't know how the geopolitical scenario shapes up in the future, and where will the threats emerge from, so keeping that in mind, India needs to have the Mach 27 capable Sharia ICBM in the arsenal, that will have an operational range of over 16,000 kilometers, that could reach any location on the planet. The Warship Design Bureau will complete the design work of Project 76 Next Generation Indigenous Diesel Electric Attack Submarines by 2026, that will feature air independent propulsion system, and will have 3,000 ton submerged displacement. Project 76 will see the procurement of six submarines in two batches, and the construction will start by 2030, and first submarine is projected to begin sea trials after 2036, while the second batch will incorporate even more advanced features. Today's Top 3 Comments